All right, everyone, good morning. Welcome to Hanoi, Vietnam. Right now, we are heading off out to eat some bun cha, the ultimate Northern Vietnamese food. One of the most beloved foods here in Hanoi. We've been here for a few days and we still haven't eaten bun cha yet. But we're making that ride right now. We're heading to a little spot that the dentist actually recommended to us. Perhaps the dentists where their favourite spots were. And they've told us this little spot around the corner, so I'm hoping it's going to be open, hoping it's going to be delicious. As you can see, we've got another absolutely shocking day of weather here in Hanoi. We've just got so unlucky, it's pretty much just constant heavy drizzle every day, pretty much. You can see everyone's got their like full body ponchos on riding around. It's bloody miserable. But, I'm hoping this food is going to turn our moods around. It's like the bloody UK. I think it is just round here on the left. And here is a spot we are headed to. Are they open? Yes, they are. Xin chào. Half six to half eight. Um, okay. You can see she's actually literally grilling the meat up fresh. Xin chào. Wow, the meat looks so good. Literally just got the barbecue there on the, the coals. She's got a fresh meat mixture. We'll order and then we'll have a look. You have ne nem qua. She's <laughs> gone. What have we ordered? Ne ne nem qua be. I think she's bringing it over. Nem qua. Nem qua. Nem qua. Honestly, been in Vietnam for like three days. Vietnamese, nothing. But everyone's nice enough. Oh wow. Nem qua. Oh. What's going on here? A bit of pepper in there. <laughs> Come on. All right, all our food has arrived. It looks incredible. This is a proper local little spot. Look at this place. Buncha, Nem Kwa Be. Everything in Vietnamese is so hard to pronounce. So I'll just talk you through what we've got. So boom are the noodles. You've got the rice vermicelli noodles. And this is like our dipping sauce. And in here, let us show you what we've got in here. We have got like the barbecued pork belly pieces, charred pork belly. We've got the pork patties. They look fantastic. We've also got like pickled papaya. There's carrot in here as well. She's thrown a little black pepper in for us. Now this is made of lime, sugar, fish sauce, and vinegar. We've got a huge plate of herbs, just classic Vietnam. They look really good, so fresh. And then we've got, uh, these are the nem qua be. These are like crab spring rolls, like the nem ran, but with crab meat inside as well. They look fantastic. And yeah, so what we do is, with the bun cha, I will just taste this little dipping sauce first. Let's give it a little slurp. Oh, that's fantastic. Mmm, slightly sweet. But we have stuff to throw in, where's it gone? Oh, here we go. So we've got a dish full. I'll oh, just check our film in there. We've got a dish full of like crushed chopped up garlic and fiery red chilies, so we'll throw a load of them in. Get a load of that garlic and look at that. That looks so good. That is, oh wow. Let's get some of these chilies. Look at them bad boys. Oh. It smells so strong. Get that little bit of a mix up. Wow, it looks so good. You can see all the chilies floating around in there. The meat looks so good though. Can you see like the charring on it? 
Oh, Alright then, let's get dug in. Let's get some of these rice noodles. You like to snip them up. Into little bunches. Oh. And then we'll just give those a big dip in this sauce. Look at those. Take a spoon as well. They like absorb all that juice. Let's get one of these big pork patties first. Look at that. That was fantastic. And yeah, let's just go for it. That is so good. That meat is incredible. They're like little patties. That mini burger. They got a proper charred taste on it. The pork tastes really good. Some sort of herbs in there as well. They also got our like fresh herbs. Let's throw some of these in. Set some of that pork belly. Oh, chat, chat. Okay. We're getting a tea. I mean, the noodles just absorb all that juice so well. It's fantastic. What herbs have we got here? Like that. I think that is a perilla leaf. She just brought over the iced teas for us. It was like a classic staple. They're pretty much half of the street food spots you visit. This is honestly fantastic. The pork is so good. Fresh herbs. Them chilies are hot. This is fantastic. The chilies are hot. But this dipping sauce is just so tasty. There's so much flavour in it. There's a real strong garlic taste coming through. The chilies, obviously, you can really taste those. And then it's like a sweet, a sweet dipping sauce. And slightly sweet. Now, I actually almost forgot about the crab rolls, the fried crab rolls. So let's get that bad boy dipped in this delicious sauce. Should we just go for it? Wow. That's so good. So crispy, so flaky. We've got like the glass noodles in there, the pork, the mushroom, the crab, minced crab. So good. It's simple, but it's fantastic. And obviously, Vietnamese food is amazing because of the greenery. But where we're eating, so loud. I'll show you what she's doing after she's literally. She's just got essentially like a big bowl of ground pork, which is shaping the patties and then grilling them right there. She looks like she knows what she's doing. You want to tell us what you think, Marie? This is like one of my favourite dishes because it's just so like light. Even though it's really not light because you've got like massive meat patties and it's super like fish sauce in. I just love it. it just, I think it's just more perfect because the noodles are super light. They're not a heavy noodle. One of my favourites. Delicious. Yeah, it's really good. Fantastic. I think we'll be eating this very regularly. These puppies are so good. Oh, I feel that with a big chili on as well.
到了车啊！哦哇哦 ，Look at that！ That is literally heaven. The chili on the top. Wow. That is literally one of the greatest bites of food. Not even lie. It's so good. Ordered two more of these. It's all just so good. The crab spring rolls. Incredible. Sáu lem là sáu mươi này. Sáu mươi với sáu mươi này. Cộng với hai trà đá, hai trà là mười nghìn. Tổng cộng là một trăm sáu mươi. Nhiều hấp chế. Trăm, trăm, sáu, trăm sáu mươi. Cả lại bốn mươi. Come on, come on. It was nyon, sat nyon, sat nyon. Bye, Ian. Yeah. What a little spot, honestly. And you can see the meat here, like you can see the barbecue. Look at the char on the board. And she's doing the like press. Wow, nyon. So tasty. Oh. Set my camera on fire. The meat, honestly, you can see all the like the burn on it, the char. You can really taste it. Fantastic little spot that. Buncha nem kwa be, and I can't read the rest, but I'll put it in the description. Still pissing it down, isn't it? Maybe we'll go and grab a coffee. I don't know what we'll do, but that is like the ultimate breakfast. What a food, so delicious. Hundred sixty thousand dong. What's that? Like a fiver for us both. Incredible value, because I'm actually really full. Oh. And those... <laughs> but they'll get some right looks here. <laughs> that cat's massive. Yeah, the star of the show was those pork and crab spring rolls, the nem quapi. So good, so good. I think they're actually like a high thong specialty which is another city here in northern Vietnam, a couple of hours away, but yeah. You wondering why you're getting looks? Oh, maybe this is why I'm getting looks. Yeah, it's bloody winter in Hanoi. I don't have any shoes. I need to get some new shoes. I've got flip-flops and bloody shorts on like an absolute plonker. And look at everyone else. The coldest time of the year here in northern Vietnam. <laughs> oh well. Who the bloody hell is this that we've come across? Who are you? Is it a friendly pigeon? No, it's not. That's a massive pigeon. There's all kinds of stuff around here. We've got Ban Quan over there, which I actually really want to try. I've not tried those yet. Maybe we'll grab some of those, but I think we need a coffee first. But yeah, there's just all kinds of stuff. Is this a coffee shop? Yeah, you can really smell the coffee. Aroma. Just taking over the air. And yeah, this is just the madness of Hanoi. Looks really good though. It looks like they're doing it just right. Yeah, coffee shop. The best quality coffee in Vietnam. That's a bold claim. Very bold claim. Yeah, so we are coming up to lunchtime nearly, so things are getting busier. You gotta love Vietnam. Some of the stuff they just throw on the back of the bike. And then when you get your chance to cross, you just gotta go. I mean, to be fair, they're actually alright. Everyone just goes around you, to be fair. I think it'd be hard to get run over. It's gotta be some of the best motorbike drivers in the world. Right, so we're just walking around this little local area. And we've come across a little market, so we'll just check out this market and see if there's anything interesting going on. I'm just trying not get run over first things first. That lady's blasting tunes outside and so there's some really interesting looking Vietnamese treats wrapped up in the banana leaves. We'll just have a look around here and see what's going on so far. It's just clothes. 
Textiles. Nothing too interesting. Taylor, you've got to be careful here. Yeah. People are splitting nearly run into your motorbikes, bicycles, whatever. We'll have a look around, yeah, because it looks like we've got obviously all your fresh fruit and veg and your meat and stuff. We haven't been to a market like this yet in Vietnam. So it should be interesting to take a little walk around. The rain's actually kind of stopped a little bit. What have we got? Oh, ruthless. Some ruthless chopping going on there. What have we got, crabs? Xin chào. We just got big crabs. What are these? Big shrimpies. Oh, we've got the turtles. Are these the soft shell turtles? I believe they, I've seen these on quite a few menus. Xin <laughs> chào. Oh, that's how interesting. <laughs> Baba. Ba Baba. Baba. Nyon. Zap Nyon. Okay. We try, we, we need to try. Because <laughs> they're probably thinking, because obviously I bet they get strange forests. <laughs> what else has he got? He's got shrimpies. <laughs> probably get loads of weirdo tourists in here, don't they? Like, crying about the turtle because they obviously they eat so many strange things over here but we're not bothered we're in vietnam we'll do things the vietnamese way we've got a little food court we've seen those on quite a few menus it's like some strange like turtle with like this strange corn head and they like seem to just like fry the hell out of them cut them up and serve them i think it's like more of a drinking food to be honest it's a restaurant near our hotel that serves it yeah they serve it don't they this market's crazy it's like a little labyrinth God, if you hadn't just eaten, they get some food here. They've got unlaid eggs. Xin chào. Some people are really nice, and some people are just like... Well, if they can get your camera on my bloody face. Tell you what, some of these streets are really strange. It feels like it does in the old quarter, but obviously it's a lot less busy. There's pretty much no tourists in this area, and this is like a textile streets everyone's selling strange bloody materials xin chào that's well nice <laughs> and now everyone's thinking what is this geezer doing on the bloody textile street look at this tree bloody hell it's peaceful around here so in this area there are so many coffee shops, honestly there's just so many it's hard to choose but you know as we picked like the smallest little family owned coffee shop in town. Here we go, it's called Café Tuan and this is 25,000 dong, just a nice hot coffee. Honestly, you can't beat Vietnamese coffee with a little bit of milk. Hello, xin chào. How are you? <laughs> Good coffee? Coffee. Black coffee. Black coffee. Ah, delicious. Nyon. No. No, cafe no. Cafe den. Den. Ice. Leisha's also got the iced coffee with a little bit of milk. Condensed milk. Cafe no. Cafe no. Cafe no. No. We need to get a black one yet, but just so strong like even with the little bit of the condensed milk in it blows your socks off and then the obligatory tea what's better honestly than just doing this in vietnam just sitting here it's a rainy day just watching the world go by at this busy intersection it's so honestly it's the best thing ever when you're wandering around the street here and how you just come across all kinds of random things you just come across these like bubbling tanks of god knows what we asked the lady inside it's chinese medicine it smells super strong i mean i'm not quite sure what it is exactly but it smells really good and it looks bloody oily you could just walk around honestly for days on end you'd never get bored here xin chào ban quan ban quan Oh, it's this, we can sit inside. Oh, okay. I can speak English if you will. 
English. Yeah, I can speak English. We will sit inside. Yeah, okay. okay. Come on. Slip it. She speaks a little bit of English. Come on, come on. Oh, here we go. So what have we got? Shrimp and pork. What, what's the difference? Is this different like sizes? Is one with something on? Cinnamon sauce. This is our first time trying ban 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 quan. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> in Vietnam. Yeah. I, I, I think you go inside. It's more. It's more clearly for you to uh, oh, take go a video. Yeah. Okay. Let's go around here, then we can see properly. So this spot looks really good. The name is Ban Quan Nong. I, I probably butcher all these pronunciations. So this has shrimp, pork, mushroom. We've got like a special, it's a bit of a mix of everything. And then we'll see what goes on here in a minute. So this is the rice flour. Rice, rice flour. Like a rice flour batter that then just gets steamed on there. <laughs> yeah. How, how long have you had this shop? Oh, I um, this is family business. Family business, yeah, oh, amazing. So I'm the third generation. Third. Third generation. Third. Oh wow, wow, yeah. wow, amazing. Family business, the best business yeah. always. Support the local people. And it steams away and it like solidifies. And this is the skilled bit. Ah, you are very skilled. Yeah. <laughs> I have been working for 30 years. 30? Yeah. Wow. What is your name? What? What is your name? Uh, my name is Wang. Wang. O-A-N-H. Wang. Wang. O-A-N-H. It's so difficult to Wang. pronounce. Wang. 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 <laughs> Vietnamese is very hard yeah. for us to. We try to speak, but it's so yeah, hard. Yeah. Oh, this is the cinnamon sausage here. Yeah, cinnamon sausage. Oh wow, I've not had that before. And the ingredients go in, and they just get folded up. Oh, it looks delicious. Does it come with dipping sauce? What? With dipping sauce? Yeah, with dipping sauce. Ah, okay. Should just give you the sauce inside. Okay, amazing. <laughs> thank you so much, Cameron. Oh, you're welcome. You can uh, take a video anytime you want. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Proper little business, this. Really, really nice. Now, these we've just ordered look really good. So, these are Ban Quan, and these are the specials. So, in here we have got. Yeah, you just saw I made them. They're like rice flour cakes, like a super traditional Vietnamese food. I had these in a few other countries, but they look good here. Inside we have got shrimp, pork, woody and mushroom, and there's this crispy shallot on top, fried shallot, and this special sausage, which is, it translates to cinnamon sausage. I've never heard of this before, but it looks super good. And then we've got like our dipping sauce, which is like fish sauce, lime, sugar, vinegar, what have we put in? We've put the kumquat in. And then we'll go through these chilies in as well. Eh? No, it looks good. And then, yeah, essentially we just pick these bad boys up, dip them in the sauce, get some of the herbage, and just took in. You're gonna take it away, Alish? Yes, but I feel like they're going to crumble. <laughs> How do you pick it up without it? I think they, I think they fold them over here. I think she fold them, not. This is difficult. <sighs> Bit of a swim. I'm gonna get something. Mm. Mm. Really good. Really fresh and light. Oh, this paper is so it's not sticky at all. No. It's really like that kind of melts in your mouth actually. Because sometimes they're really sticky. Strong tasting mushroom. Can't be all like that. This is a. No, it's quite strong. It can be a bit overpowering actually if you put too much on. Too much on yeah. It's really good. I think I need a little bit more tinkle in my dip though. These things 
have so much juice in, they're like so zesty. They come with pretty much any dish in Vietnam. It's difficult. <laughs> it's slippy. So here we go, we've got the rice flour cake. It looks so good. It's stuffed in there, isn't it? And I say let's just give it a big dip then. There we go, look at that. I won't go too heavy. Mmm. Fresh up. They are really up. They're really light, aren't they? Not chew it all soft. Sometimes they are a bit like gelatinous. Mm. Not like they really stick to you out, but they're, they're really pleasant. It's really thin it's rice batter. Mm. You get a little bit of a shrimpy taste, but it's more like a pork and mushroom combo. Really good. And these little crispy shallots on the top just had a nice little crunch. And this, the cinnamon sausage. Never had this before. It is like a little slime. A hint of cinnamon on the coating. It's just a slight cinnamon taste. This is literally crumbling to pieces, but so we'll give it a big dip in the dipping sauce. Mm. So good when you get a combo of everything. The mint, the coriander, the mushroom pork shrimp. This is really good though, this cinnamon sausage. I chopped it. So I built up the ultimate bite. We've got the cinnamon sausage, the shrimp, the pork, the rice flour cake, the herbs. There we go. Give it a big salt. Let's get a chilli as well. Mm. They're delicious. So nice. So many just, it's just the di different textures and so many different flavours. Fantastic. You like the North Vietnam is the best? The North? The yeah. North, like Hanoi, yeah. is better than um, Saigon. I don't know, but people, so many people like to come to Saigon because of the um, weather is better than here. The weather is better. Yeah. Oh, the weather is terrible now, it is <laughs> raining every day. Yeah, raining and um, maybe the, um, I don't know how to spell it in English. Uh, humi humidity. Humidity, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so high here. Yeah. Everything stays wet. In this wet. season, yeah. Yes. In this season. Like you do some washing and it's just wet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't dry, does it? No. <laughs> How's the pomelo? It's really good. So we've got some sweet we pomelos have four here. We've here, but uh, if you come to Saigon, it's just two seasons. Two seasons. Two yeah, seasons. South, yeah. We have four seasons here. So yeah. Four. Yeah. Oh, so it's more like, more like the UK here. Uh, winter, summer, uh, winter, summer, autumn, okay. spring. And yeah, like the UK. Yeah, good though. So much food everywhere. Delicious Vietnamese yeah, food in Hanoi. Yeah, yeah. Just amazing. Yeah. We could eat something new every single day. Yeah. Yeah. We can go to a different restaurant every yeah. day. How, how, how long will you be here? Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What is your favourite food in Hanoi? Food? What What do you like to eat? To eat? Yeah. Yes. I like to eat pho. Pho? Pho yeah. Ball for that. Ah, okay. That yeah. is your favorite favorite food. Uh, yeah. The yeah. best. Yeah. The best ball. Beef. 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 So, I like beef. Have you tried it? Uh, Not yet. Fur But we haven't had. But we will go for fur ball oh. soon. Where is your favorite fur fur ball spot? Fur ball. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can go to the. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the exact address. Right now, yeah. Oh yes, please, yes, yes, please, yes. So here we go. She's given us, she's just cut us up some fresh pomelo. She's literally cutting it and eating it. And she's just given us some. 
Sweet mellow. What did you say? The sweet one and a, it's a, a bitter one. one. Sour one. And the, the, the sweet one only grows with this tongue. Mmm. It's not overly sweet, is it? It's not too sweet. It's a little bit bitter on the aftertaste. I'd say. Yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. But not like a grapefruit. No. Mmm. Fresh from here. This is new to me though, peeling it. Yeah, you have to peel the skin off and just eat the inside. At least just <laughs> before we found out, it just went straight in. It is very, very bitter with that skin. You pull like the flesh out. Show us the flesh. It's like an orange. Strange, isn't it? It's almost like halfway between orange and between a jackfruit, I think. And not taste wise, the, the inside flesh. That's just what it looks like. Mm. Very juicy though. Mm. Something a bit different. What is this? Soybean. Soybean. Yeah. Oh, what is this one making? By ourselves. Oh, these are the soybeans? Yeah. Soybean. Oh. What Big. do you use this for? It's for the soy meal. You can eat that. You can drink that. Oh, yeah. the soy yeah. milk. Oh, so they make it all fresh as well. <laughs> wow. We have all the fresh here. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. You Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. What is this? I, I keep seeing this. What is that? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's um. This is not a big one. It's a kind of um. Uh, I, I forget the 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 vegetable. Uh, the vegetable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That uh, you saw the papaya. Popeye, the, the Popeye. Spinach. Oh, spinach. 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 Popeye. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Popeye. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Popeye, thank you so much. Why is it like yellow? Is that just all the spinach like... Um, was it just boiling water? In boiling uh, water? Yeah. Yeah, the boiling water and I put the spinach left in, in that. Oh. That's what. Okay. <laughs> That's all. Popeye. Popeye. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so yeah, much. Welcome. Goodbye. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. Has it stopped raining? Yeah. Oh, amazing. What a little spot. I'm not gonna try and read it out again because I'll just butcher it, but super nice little place. I'll always put the place in the description. Oh, she's doing the washing up, classic. And the classic Vietnamese hat. Super, super little morning. Absolutely bloody love Hanoi. There's just so much stuff everywhere. So much amazing food. You could spend a lifetime here, honestly. And everyone's so nice. Put it in the bin where they said people in the north of Vietnam are not nice. They're amazing. Everyone's honestly just been so nice. You couldn't make it up. <laughs>